everyone on mute and we'll get started. So sitting comfortably, maybe socks still on if you need a blanket or a cushion underneath if needed. Wriggle it out anywhere before you find your comfortable shape. Tonight, we've got a strap, use it. You can use a belt or a tie or any string or even a towel. Uh, anytime you want to drop the strap, you can get rid of it, especially if your shoulders are feeling quite tired, maybe you've been on the computer a lot. Uh, so please take modifications as needed. So have your strap close by and sit really tall through your spine. From here, we'll start with chin tucks. So feel as though you're pressing your chin back and create a couple of folds here, good, and then release it. You've got a few of these. So the focus is to feel the back of your neck lengthen, feel the back of your head pressing towards your wall, and really growing tall at the same time as you do this. You've just got about four more. Three more, two, and one. Good. From here, bring one ear down to one shoulder. Notice how the other side feels. Come back to center, other ear. You've got a few of these, take them at your own pace. Start small. We'll be exploring this shape a little bit later on as well. So no need to go too far too quickly. If you're ready, you can explore some half head circles. Sweeping your chin side to side. Perhaps noticing sensation in the back of your neck. Or maybe even noticing sensation in your upper back. When you feel ready, coming back towards center, take your time, stacking back. Good. From here, elbows up, squeeze your shoulders back, and then round forward. So forearms might touch, round through spine. Inhale, expand, squeeze shoulder blades together and exhale around. You've got about four more. So these are our seated cat cows. Being a little bit colder today, just wanting to check into all these areas before we take longer or bigger movements. Eventually come back to center, release. Shake anything out that you need. Feel free to change the shape of your legs uh, if you need to as well. I'm just gonna change it to cross-legged in the other direction. Finding your strap. Try to have it not too close together to start with. See how you feel. From here, Inhale, arms up, side bend to one side, exhale, center, good, inhale, other side, exhale, center. Keep going at your own pace. If the strap is a little bit too much today, 
feel free to get rid of it. If you want more intensity, you can have your hands closer and then really focusing on grounding your sit bones down and opening the top front hip up, feeling that length in the side body. Keep your elbows pretty soft, especially if you're feeling a little bit tired in your shoulders today. One more on each side. Eye gaze looks wherever feels best for your neck. When you're ready, release hands in front, take a big shoulder roll. Arms reach in front of you. About shoulder distance with your hand, shoulder slides back and forward. Feel free to do one side at a time. Feel free to drop your strap if you need. You have about four more. Three, two, noticing how this feels in your back. And when you're ready, set your shoulder blades halfway back, arms up to the ceiling. You might go a little bit wider to start with. Take your arms behind you without having to bend your elbows. You might just be a little bit behind or as far as you like, exhaling down and back. Inhale up, exhale in front. Inhale up, exhale perhaps noticing sensation in your chest or front of shoulders. Keep going at your own pace. Two more, forwards and back. Feeling free to adjust or hold anywhere you need. Eventually, bring your strap above your head if that's available. Feel free to roll out and release your shoulders. And then find the length that feels right for you. Yeah. You want to feel that opening on the sides of your chest and front of shoulders. So take your arms back a little bit. And if you're like, oh, I don't really notice any sensations and you want to, walk your hands in closer. If you're like, oh, that's too much, hands further away. Breathing in here. As you exhale, try to soften your face, your shoulders, tailbone down to the floor, pretty neutral for your pelvis and spine. Ooh, and release your hands down, shake it up. If you need wrist circles, take them. Otherwise, we're going to take that shoulder mobility exercise that we've done a couple of times together. Lift arms up, side bend towards the right, just more so the arms though this time. Top hand, left hand comes in front, right hand sweeps over and up. Good, so notice how this feels, you're doing kind of spirals with your shoulders. And you can start to add your torso into this if that feels suitable for you. Yeah? But first point of focus is shoulder mobility. And when you're ready, reverse directions. 
over to the left, right hand comes down, up and around. What areas of tightness do you feel? Working through those areas, trying not to rush. Last two, wherever you are. And eventually coming back, releasing your shoulders, shake out your hands if you now next one, if you're sick of the strap or you need a break, do it without. Otherwise, we're going to twist side to side. Yeah? If you feel like, hey, you're maybe ready to take butterfly legs, you can take that option or let legs go long or maybe resting cross-legged. Find your variation of butterfly. We will all look a bit different. Knees might be high. If it's painful, walk your feet forwards a little bit. Maybe cushions underneath your knees. All right, if you can, use your strap in a twist as you exhale. So inhale, grow tall. Exhale to one side. Inhale, center. Exhale, other side. Good. So go at your own pace. Arms not too far back. The focus is twisting from your ribs and synchronizing with your breath. Elbows soft. So use your whole breath to turn and then maybe notice, hey, each time you turn, is there a little bit more room or maybe not? One more on each side. And coming back to center. Ah, release your shoulders. Take your legs long. Sit on something if you need. Soften through your knees, legs about hip distance. Because we've got our strap today, hook it around. Option to just use your strap to pull your toes towards you. Knees can be soft and very bent. Grow really tall through your spine. So if this isn't feeling like it's enough for you today, then inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull yourself forwards very lightly. Inhale, keep lengthening. Exhale, belly to thigh. Notice any differences when you are using the strap. You don't always have to fold as far forwards with the strap. Three more big, slow breaths. In through nose, out through nose. Maybe sigh your next breath out. And release, come on, shake it out. From here, we're going to find a low lunge. Take your time getting there, right foot forward, left knee back. Pad your left knee if you need. Bring your strap with you. So. Starting to hold a little bit. Uh, with some optional movements. Yeah. Strap in hands if available. Pressing into your right foot. 
bend into your right knee, roughly in line, knee and ankle. Square through your hips as much as comfortable, drawing your tailbone down to the floor. Zip up through pelvic floor, ribs draw to center. Inhale, arms up. Side bend towards the right. Inhale, center. Side bend, left. And notice your front foot has to really press and ground down. Inhale, center. Arms behind you a little bit. And notice, do you feel any sensations in your left hip flexors? Maybe as you stay here, you inhale, grow taller. Exhale, perhaps allowing your hips to not just drop forwards, but really control moving forwards and down until you reach your level of sensation that you need. One more breath here. Inhale, grow tall, arms reach up, press out of your front foot a little bit, hands in front, rest them if you need. I'm gonna find some twisting. Twist to the right. Come back to center. Exhale. Come back to center. Now, if you feel you want to twist both sides, you can give that a go. Notice what happens in your hips and your front knee as you go side to side. Your balance muscle is working really hard in your front foot. Notice if you're just moving your arms or if you're moving your whole upper body as you twist. Last breath wherever you are. And when you're ready, Hands release your strap, frame your foot. From here, moving back into half monkey, hold it here. Just pull your right hip back a little bit. Pull your left hip forwards a little bit. Maybe flex your toes to your face. Maybe straighten out your right leg or have a bend as much as you need. Option to move as much as you need. So you could inhale, bend knees, come forwards. Exhale, shift weight back, flex toes forward. See how that feels or you can stay still. If you'd like to explore a little bit more balance, you might try to sit onto your back heel and then come all the way back up. Maybe no hands. See how you go. So it could look a little bit different for everyone here. Got about two more breaths here. Notice any sensations in the back of your right leg. When you're ready, hands come to the inside of your right leg, heel toe out your right foot. Hands or forearms, your choice. Maybe try some circles with your hips. 
and you'll notice your right knee will extend and then bend. So it's like a really wide half monkey here. Okay. Doesn't matter if it looks a bit different. We're going from lizard into half monkey. Reverse directions when you're ready. If you don't want to move, just hold in your lizard. One more breath here, moving if you can, and then hold in your lizard. Hands or forearms up to you. You might also choose to come onto that knife edge blade of your right foot, flipping your right knee out slightly, maybe even twisting towards your right hand side. Find what feels best for you. Your back knee can be up or down. Three big breaths left. So today, exploring movement with your breath. How does it feel adding your strap in, taking things a little bit slower? When you're ready, you can take both hands back onto your mat, right knee returns, right foot returns. Option, if you'd like to take a flow, take it. Otherwise, maybe a cat cow, maybe some child shapes. Your choice. If you're taking your flow, your vinyasa, feel free to take a few more if you need them. You've got about five more breaths wherever you are. If you're using your hands, spread your finger pads out. Protect your lower back wherever you are by Drawing your ribs to center, not dropping too much into your lower back. When you feel ready, take your left foot between your hands, find your strap, lift arms and chest. Squaring your hips a little bit, never forcing it. How's your lower back feeling? Just check into that, maybe adjusting to neutral if you can. Pat your back knee if you need. How do those arms feel? Inhale, grow taller, ribs in, side bend to the left. Maybe noticing sensation in your right hip flexor. Inhale, center, side bend, right. Inhale, center. Arms in front. Twist to your left. Exhale. Don't let your left knee fall out or in. Inhale, center. Twist over. And then when you feel ready, you can even twist to both sides. Notice what happens into your front leg and front foot when you twist to both sides. If you like, you could bring your hips down a little bit, down and forwards. And when you're ready, last breath. 
hands come down, fingertips or use a block if needed, shift weight back, half monkey. Adjusting so your back knee is pretty happy, roughly in line with your hip, squaring your hips as much as available, maybe flexing your toes, softening your knee, feeling left hamstring. Option to stay still or move forwards and back. Walk hands forwards, lift chest. Walk hands back, flex toes, fold. We've got a couple of these. How does this side feel compared to the other side? If you're ready to challenge your balance a little bit and you want to explore that, you could sit all the way down to your back heel and then maybe with or without fingers trying to come back up into your low lunge. Find what works for you. It's good to get a little bit wobbly. If you're sitting onto your heel, maybe try fold as well. See how you go. You've got about two more rounds of breath. And when you're ready, finding your lizard. Okay. Hands to the inside. You don't want to be on hands, forearms, or maybe even stay high. Heel toe out a little bit more. Yeah. And then finding your hips down and forwards if you can by sliding your back knee further. Maybe try some circles with your hips here. And you can definitely extend your left knee and re-bend it as you need. Maybe reverse it when you're ready. Perhaps you come into a hold, coming forwards, hands or forearms. Maybe flipping open your left foot, maybe twisting as well. Last big breath in, big breath out. Bring your foot back in, option to take a flow or two or three if you want, or cat cows, hip circles, child's shake. You've got about five rounds of breath wherever you need to be.
When you feel ready, meeting in downward facing dog, pedal your feet out, rocking your hips as much as you like, making any adjustments necessary. Step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Wide forward fold. Soft knees. Rock head. Option to grab elbows. Sway side to side. Last big breath in, big breath out, release hands, soften knees, grab your strap, roll all the way up. Ah, step it in. Beautiful, we've made it to standing. Grab some water if you need, layers on or off. We're going to build a little bit of heat with some standing strength and then balancing. Find your strap and I better turn to this side <laughs> so that I face you. Okay, find your mountain. Notice how your legs and hips are feeling. Check into your lower back. All the way up upper back, noticing how your shoulders feel, how your elbows and wrists feel, and then checking into your long neck. Shift weight to your right leg, lift left knee, lift arms, can be as far as you like. From here, flex left foot, slowly hinge back, high lunge, land it down. Bend back knee, lift arms, lift front heel if it's available, hold. Drop front knee whenever you like. Inhale, grow taller. Side bend, right. Inhale, center. Side bend, left. Inhale, center. Arms back a little bit. Broaden chest. Lower front heel down. Inhale, push out of your legs, open to your warrior two legs. Relax shoulders, relax arms. Check into your front knee. So press that right knee out a little bit towards your third or fourth toe. How's your back knee? Activate your whole back leg. Good, and just checking your front knee opening, hips opening more to the side. Ribs in, tailbone down. Lean forwards towards your right leg. Push firmly into your right foot, come back up. Lean backwards like a reverse warrior. Come back. You've got a few more forwards and up, backwards. So that one's a side bend here and up. One more forward and up, back and up. 
from here. Back heel lifts, turn back towards the front. We're going to try to come into our balance. So step your left knee up to single leg standing balance. Loop your strap around your left leg. Both hands are helping you, elbows pretty close. So pull up, whoop, <laughs> and uh, I got it, I got it. <laughs> Finding your balance. You can bend your knee as much as you need. Hold it here. Change strap to left hand. Right arm can go anywhere to help you balance. Yeah. Open left leg out towards the left. Hold. Take a break if you need, then come back. Take it to the other side. Change hands. And you can bend your knee, option one. And then you can twist. Option two is extend your leg out, twist. Five, four. Try and lift your leg a little bit higher with your strap. Elbow close to you. And release down. Woo, untangle. Shake it all out. Awesome job. You can do the whole thing without the strap if you need. Yeah, otherwise let's give the other side a try. Find your mountain. Grow as tall as you can as you inhale. Ground down into your feet as you exhale. Shift weight to your left leg. Lift right knee, lift arms. Slowly hinge forwards, kick right leg back, land it down. Bend back knee, arms up, tailbone down. Check into your front knee, how's it feeling? Maybe you lift your front heel, maybe not. And as you inhale, lengthen more through spine and arms. Exhale, side bend to your left. Inhale, center. Side bend, right. Inhale, center. Lower your front heel down. Open to warrior two legs. Tailbone down, ribs in, shoulders relax. When you're ready. Inhale, lean forwards. Like an extended side angle. You'll feel your top obliques here a little bit. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Inhale. Exhale, warrior two. You've got two more rounds. Just checking into your lower back that you're not excessively arched. Your chest is pretty much side more parallel to your side wall. And you're really pressing into your front foot. And eventually, warrior two, no rush to get there. Sweep your back heel off the floor, turn forwards. Prepare for single leg balance. Let's see how this side goes. Couple of steps or one big step, your choice. Find your balance, hook foot in strap, pull close to you. So use your arms next to your ribs to help lift your leg up. Change strap to right hand, open left arm, open right leg. Looking steady, nice. 
change sides when you're ready. Change hands, left hand grabs your strap. The further up you are on your strap, the harder it is to get your leg up. So if you want to try, you could walk your hand further forwards to lift your leg up. Maybe twist. Option to keep your knee bent. Five, four, three, two, one. Return to center. Release. Shake it all up. Shake hands out as well. All right. From here, grab some water if you need, layers on or off. We're gonna find triangle shape on both sides and hold it. And this is gonna help target your lower back uh, and your inner thighs. Yeah. With or without your strap, let's take your right foot forwards and your left leg back. Your back leg is in that warrior two direction. So toes kind of facing that 70 to 90 degree angle, hips open to the side of your mat, the long side. All right, just check into your front knee, lengthen both sides of your waist, arms up, relax your shoulders, relax your elbows. Hinge towards the right. Tip, 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 tip. As if you were squashed between two glass panels. So your hips are not really moving and your chest is just kind of oh, hinging down as if you were supported by your wall. Hold it here. Now, if this is a bit much, bring your bottom hand somewhere onto your leg and you can get rid of the strap or have your top hand your hip. Otherwise it's also going to be an oblique strengthening shape here as you reach. Inhale, reach longer. Exhale, come down a little bit more. Chest and head back. Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Soften your front knee, come back up. Ah, shake it out a little bit. Relax arms, shoulders. So hopefully you notice maybe some sensation in your lower back on the left side here with triangle shape. Yeah? Maybe opening here in your inner thigh and maybe some work on your top obliques. Other side, soft legs. So you can turn your left foot out, your right toes in a little bit. Checking into your front knee, checking into your hips. Front heel roughly in the middle of your back foot arch. Yeah, roughly. Everyone's hips are a little bit different. Make sure there's no pain. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hinge, hinge, hinge. As if you were just sliding your back against your wall. If you have a wall close by you'd like to use, you can use it. So notice if your arms are tired, bottom hand down, top hand in. Chest and head back. Hips have now hitched, but they're not kind of squaring towards that front leg like pyramid, but your hips are hitched this way. Holding for five. Eye gaze looking somewhere comfortable. Two, one, soften front knee, come back up. Shake it out, shake it out. Turn both feet parallel, wide legged forward fold. Um, you don't really need the strap for this one, you can get rid of it. Take your time. Inhale, lengthen through your spine, exhale. Find your variation. Hands anywhere you like. Soften your knees. Tip your hips slightly forwards so more weight is on the front half of your feet. We often tip back. Good. 
Feel free to change your arms, maybe holding ankles. Maybe fingers reach between and pull you through center. take a side bend in your forward fold if you can. Yeah? If you need to sit down you can sit as well and fold forwards. So bring your hands towards your right ankle and use your left elbow and bend your left elbow. Use it to kind of pull yourself over to the right a little bit more. Let's try the other side. Right elbow bends a little bit, pulls you over to the right. When you're ready, hands come back in front of your face. Inhale, lift halfway up. Find your yoga squat if you are ready. Yeah, so heel toe in a little bit. Find your garland shape. You can sit on something if you need. Feel free to move a little bit side to side. We're going to take a twist if you can. One hand down, other arm reaches up to the ceiling, maybe look up. Let's try the other side. So bottom arm, yeah, the bottom back of your right arm, well, sorry, left arm pushes into your knee to keep it open as you twist. When you're ready, bring it back down. If you need to turn off your lights, now is a good time. Otherwise, have your strap close by. We're going to sit down and roll onto your backs. Take your time. You need to turn off your lights. You can stand up and then turn them off. Bring your strap with you, roll down slowly onto your back with control. Bend your knees, windscreen wipe side to side. And when you're ready, take your right leg into your strap, extend your right leg long, Hug it in as you breathe out. Two more breaths. If your back's feeling pretty good, extend that left leg long here. Take your strap into your left hand. Open right arm out. Extend your right leg and externally rotate. We're going to get into your IT band a little bit. So rotate your whole right knee, whole right toes to the right, whole leg. Bring your leg across to the left hand side a little bit. You might notice tightness in your hip, outer hip, outer knee or even ankle. Now let your leg go all the way to the left, twist. You can even release your strap. Let your hips shuffle and shift. 
keep your shoulder blades grounded, maybe head turn. Untangle when you're ready, left side. Hug it in. Take scrap to right hand, rotate left leg out to the left, so spin from your hip socket out to the left, open left arm out, leg goes over to the right. Come all the way into your twist when you're ready. Maybe turn your head to the opposite side. Inhale to centre. Get rid of your strap. Make yourself as warm and comfortable as you like. Taking any other movements that you might need. And then setting up for a little bit of rest, whatever that looks like for you. Start to bring your attention into any areas of your body that are connected onto your mat or your cot. Then start to notice the sides of your body. the front of your body.
What sensations do you feel now? What temperature do you notice? Well, what areas do you need to look after? A little bit more. Take three deep breaths when you're ready. And to bring a bit more energy into your night. If you've still got things to do, you might take a big sigh out and then stretch everything out. You can even rock up and down to kind of wake yourself up a little bit more. But if you want something a bit quieter, just turning to your favorite side for a few breaths, no rush. <sighs> if you are awake, perhaps pressing your palms to the ceiling, reaching up and opening your hands. Let's try it one more time, pressing up to the ceiling and opening. And then palms together, bowing your forehead down to yourself. Giving yourself a big thank you for making it tonight, no matter how cold <laughs> or how tired you are. I hope you had a good weekend, everyone. It's good to see you both. Thank you for being here. Have a good night, sleep well.